What is up everyone? Welcome to another Tarrant Tip video. And today's topic is creating samplers. You know, they they're great when you create your preset or you find a nice sample you like and you want to create uh something you can play with and also reduce your CPU for further uses. And this is a great way to do that. I'm going to show you two different strategies. And there there's three strategies to this, but I'm going to show you two. And then I'll explain the last one, or we'll start with that. So first things first is if you're doing like a bass wobble type sound, let's uh, create two. All right. You're going to want to go like um, every so often. So I just did all the white keys, and then the sampler, you know, will fill in the sharps. And that way our bass tone is more consistent. It's not getting all warped and stuff. So. Let's go ahead and resample each hit by setting up a channel. We'll do that by setting up a resample channel. You literally click right here, go down to resample, make sure it's armed. Now you want to solo the wobble that you're recording, and you're, we're going to record each little noise for it, and then we'll mark it with key when uh, it resamples. So I'm going to resample these real quick. Okay, so I resampled it. Next thing I'm going to do is chop each note up, um, like right how I want the note. So I'm going to take all this off. And I have, if you listen, it has the wobble and a note after. So I could literally separate those and create two samplers. But I'm just going to do the wobble part and I'll be right back. Okay, so now I have all the notes laid out we have c d e f and g now we're going to go into the simpler and click on the zones now we're going to drag these samples into that sampler so now if you play the sampler it's literally playing all of them at once so how do you separate so they're playing the key that they're you know the note that they're doing um, I'll show you that that's with the zone and all you do is click the zone right here and it'll pop up so we have C D E F and G we need to go assign those to the piano roll so let's see what octave they're in so C3 we're going back to the sampler and now we have this one which is a C3 so we're gonna drag that all the way to a C3 and a C sharp. That way it's playing both of those. Now the next one is the D. We're going to go D and D sharp. Then we have just the E. Then we have the F, which is going to be the F and F sharp. And then we have the G, which we could really just kind of open up to the rest if you want to play it, but we know it's only going to sound good in here because this is where we resampled it. And then the C as well, I'm going to drop it all the way down just in case, but that's how you would set it up. I know we're using just C3, D3, E3, F3, and G3 with the sharps, but again, now that it's a full piano roll, we set it up this way. So I'm going to go ahead and crank this volume up because it is a little quieter. If you CPU, look at one. So you're seeing we're getting like 35 when we're playing that. And then when we play this one. The highest is 33%. So all that CPU percentages are going to add up by the end of your song. So, And then again, once you're done with the sampler, you could freeze it just to audio. And then you could, you know, mess with it more. Now, the next one, we're going to do more of one that you want to play an actual song with, you know, jumping around and stuff. So this is what we're going to be doing for like a, a lead. Even though this is kind of like a bass lead. Um... We're going to set this one up. So 
this one's C F C F. Um, and I think we end on the C, right? Yeah, C five. So we start with C three and end up on C five. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and resample this, and then we're gonna set up the sampler down on the other one. All right, so this one they have tails on them. I do want to keep that reverb going, so I sliced them up. Let me relabel these now. All right, so again, you're gonna to have to go into the sampler. You're gonna to have to pop open the zone, and you're gonna to have to drag these in there. Now, we're gonna be doing, you know, from C to F and then F to C. And this will give us a nice, nicer uh, play around on the keys. Now, if you really want to, you know, make a really good sampler, say you're recording instruments or something, then you're gonna to wanna to go down every note and that way you could get, you know, every note played on that instrument. And then that way when you play it, it's a real playback and not synthetically pitched. Um, but if you wanna create quick ones, these are two different ways to go. You know, you could hit the white keys if you're gonna be sticking within an octave, or you could kinda of do the Cs and Fs. That way when it's playing the little mini groups on the keyboard of the octave, yeah, the C will sound pretty good pitched up to the F, and then the F will sound pretty good pitched up to the B. And then the next C comes in, so it's not too far pitched away where it loses its actual sound. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and um, put this in. All right, so I go ahead, I went ahead and set it up now. Now you can see I have the first note, I have it going all the way to E3, and then the F to the C, and then the C to the F, and F to the C again, and then having that throughout the rest of the octave. Now, again, if you wanted it really nice, you would do this for each C, each F, and then if it still is not sounding good in between the pitches, you would have to go in and maybe sample every two steps. Um, that way you start filling in the gaps and the pitching won't be so crazy when you uh, start going into way higher keys. But I think the sampler sounds pretty good. So I think it sounds great. And then again, the third way you would do every single key, the sharps and the, just the normal C's, D, E, F, uh, G, A, B. That way you would just do that normal and get every single note and then you would have a perfect sampler. And if you get even crazier, you know, you could do the velocities and all this crazy stuff. You could really make crazy samplers out of the sampler. So that's our tip for you guys. It's creating samplers and saving them for later. I'm just gonna show you how to save them real quick. You click that save thing, name it, boom, you're done. And now you have it forever to use. You could give them to your friends to use and all that stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And that is this tip for today. Don't forget to join us on Patreon. We just launched and we would love for you to join the community. We have a bunch of perks for music producers. But also being part of the community helps us reach out to more music producers and really empower music producers worldwide. And that's why we made Terran Info. That's why we are here creating content weekly for you guys. And we're working on sample packs and more courses and all that great stuff. So as always, thanks for watching. Click subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Click that like button. It's crucial. And thanks for watching. Peace.